Hello everyone, welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about the treatment of HSV infection. This is actually a continuation of the previous video in which I have told you about the clinical manifestation and all about the herpes simplex virus in detail. So I recommend you guys to watch that video first followed by this. So let's begin. The management of the herpes simplex virus infection is directed towards three main things which are pain control, supportive care and definitive treatment. Previously, the primary herpetic gingival stomatitis were treated with hydration and supportive measures. But however, the acyclovir family of drugs is inexpensive, safe and readily available. It is now appropriate to treat even the primary infections with the acyclovir because it reduces viral shedding and infectivity. The herpes simplex virus is managed by either topical agents or by systemic therapy. Now let's look at some palliative topical agents. Palliative actually means that you are treating the symptoms, right? So you are going to supportively treat the disease. So it is indicated in all the patients with primary and recurrent herpes simplex virus infection. As a supportive care, you can give adequate hydration and nutrition, ice chips or even popsicles, soft bland diet, antipyretics as needed. The pain is managed by means of 2% viscous lidocaine. We ask the patient to swish 5 ml of the lidocaine for 3 to 5 minutes and then spit out. We can suggest them using it for 4 to 5 times per day. We can also use liquid diphenhydramine. We again ask the patient to swish 5 ml for 3 to 5 minutes and spit out for 4 to 5 times per day. We can also use combination of viscous lidocaine and diphenhydramine and a covering agent such as capactate or malox in 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. We again ask the patient to swish 5 ml for 3 to 5 minutes and spit out. Certain topical antivirals are also indicated for herpes labialis and acute episodes like in adults and adolescents older than 12 years and also for recurrent HSV infection. Since it's a topical agent, we can give it in the form of cream or ointment. So acyclovir 5% cream is given for 5 times daily for 4 days at the earliest sign of recurrence. We can also give pencycyclovir 1% cream for every 2 hours during waking hours for 4 days. Docosanol 10% cream every 2 hours during waking hours until healed. And acyclovir can also be given as a 5% ointment 4 to 6 times daily for 4 to 10 days. Now let's move on to the systemic therapy where we don't have to apply it topically, we give it systemically, right? So it reaches our blood and then our digestive system and then goes on. So, for, in case of primary HSV in children, acyclovir is given for 15 mg per kilogram dosage to 200 mg 5 times daily for 5 days. You should, it should be given at the earliest sign of infection. Whereas, in case of primary HSV in adults, acyclovir is given for 200 to 400 mg 5 times daily for 7 to 10 days. We can also give oral valacyclovir 1 gram twice daily for 7 to 10 days. Also, FAMSI cyclovir is given 250 mg 3 times daily for 5 days. In case of recurrent HSV infection, uh, remember we can give it in terms of two conditions which is immunocompetent and immunocompromised. Both the same, both the drug are same but the dosages and the regimens like the number of days we are going to give is differing but easy to remember is we can uh, remember it is like acyclovir valacyclovir and famcycyclovir and the same goes to the amino compromised as well then look at the range of the days given it ranges from one day to seven days right the all these three drugs will be given from one to seven days so First, acyclovir will be given for 5 to 7, then the 1, and then in between you have 3 days. 
and for immunocompromised patients remember these three drugs will be given for 10 days so the dosage will remain the same and in case of prophylaxis both the immunocompetent host and the immunocompromised host will receive acyclovir and valacyclovir almost of the same dosage but the immunocompromised host will have a range between 400 to 800 for acyclovir and 500 to 1000 milligrams for valacyclovir based on how much immunocompromised they are right the number of days given would remain almost the same like twice or thrice daily and that brings us to the end of the video I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching.